guys, Jessica Ducart Bell. I am here to tell you guys um, and give you some tips on how to properly put on um, position and wear your ruby, ruby ribbon camis and to care for them. So if you've already ordered and your stuff is in the mail or it's on the way or you just got it and you haven't tried them on yet or if you're struggling to get them in the right position, um, this is the video for you, okay? Um, when you first get your camis, they are going to be very snug. Um, you might have a little bit of uniboob going on. You might have a little bit of um, bubbling over. That is okay. These cups are going to stretch a lot, but when they first come, they're going to be pretty snug um, if we've got the right size. They shouldn't feel baggy, um, but once you break them in, they should literally feel like you are just wearing like a nice um, fitted shirt. Okay, so the best way to get these on because they are very um, snug and this band here on the bottom um, is really grippy and it might catch on your clothes or your skin on the way up. And so when you first get them, what I recommend doing is turning them inside out so that the shiny side um, is on the inside. You're going to turn them inside out and put them upside down. And you're actually going to step in from the bottom. So with the cups facing towards you or forward, um, you're going to step into that bring it all the way up and so then we don't have that silicone band catching um, on your skin or on your pants or any of that um, and then get it way up underneath so that um, it's right underneath bust line and then you're gonna get your straps up on top this one's a bigger size for me but it was figured it was easier to demonstrate so it's gonna be a little puckery um, once you get it up there you're gonna lift this up and put it right underneath your armpits. This is gonna set up way higher than your normal bras do. It takes care of that arm flub, it takes smooth out our back. Um, so you're gonna wear that up really high and then get your straps tightened so that you're just getting like one finger underneath those, okay? Then you're gonna bring your silicone band down. This band is always, always, always gonna sit against your skin. It should be your first layer in the morning. Of course, I'm wearing it over my pants right now just for demonstration, but get that against your skin. Um, I actually just rub it a little bit to heat activate it so that it sticks really well and then underwear and pants over the top. If when you first get your camis it's rolling up a little bit, um, either we're in the wrong size, we're too small or style. Um, the originals tend to roll more on me than like say the sheer or the lace. Um, if you were in the right size but it just hasn't broken and it's a little snug yet, use a little water on your skin right where that band sits and then place it down and sort of rub it into place. It will help it stick a little bit better um, until you can get that broken in and, and sort of stretched out and fit to your body properly. Um, once you get this in place, you've got it up high. Um, for women with real heavy chest, sometimes I'll have them bend over and sort of swoop and pull and lift everything um, up into place so we get gravity. Um, you know, we're taking care of that and lifting everything up. Once you get that in, petals. These are gonna just pop right inside the cups Okay, and one of the things, there's not like a weird um, thing inside there that you need to do that. Uh, and like I said, this one's too big for me, so I'm getting a pucker. The petals are beveled, right? So like in your sports bras and stuff, you might notice that you get that line. With our petals, once you put a shirt on, you should not be seeing that. The petals can end up getting flipped inside out. And so if you're getting like a really harsh line uh, with your petals, that may be that they're flipped. So flip them back the other way. Um, you can position them this way, you can position them this way, whichever works better. I like them up and down um, so that I can tuck them right, just kind of in that um, spot right here where it's the tightest on your cami underneath your bust line. I like to tuck them right inside of there um, so that they don't move around on me. They're a little shiny when you first get them. Once you wash them a few times, they won't be so slippery um, and they'll fit really nice in there. Um, as far as care for your camis, um, you're gonna wanna wash those about the same as you wash your regular bras. Um, cold water and gentle cycle. I do recommend maybe a laundry bag. Your petals are gonna come with their own little laundry bag, so you can um, use that. Uh, or if you have a laundry bag that you use, use those. I don't recommend using Woolite or fabric softener at all either uh, in your washing machine. Um, it gums up that silicone band and we don't wanna do that. And then lay your camis flat to dry or hang them up. We don't wanna put them in the dryer um, and melt that band. So um, they are gonna wear really um, much nicer if you can um, hand wash um, and lay flat to dry, that's your best bet, but you certainly can put them in the washing machine. Um, they um, will hold up really well that way as well. Um, so as you're seeing this, um, because this cami's too big for me, 
See how it sort of is just riding up? That's a good indication that your cami is too big. If it's just puddling in the middle and it's riding up, we probably need a smaller size. Um, if it's rolling like a window shade, even without the with the water trick on there, uh, on the bottom, then we're probably in too small a size or the wrong style. So get a hold of your stylist um, and ha have them troubleshoot with you to make sure we're in the right size and style. Um, if you've never done worn a cami before and you need to be sized, Measure your rib cage, send that to your stylist. We will find you the right size and style um, with a few quick questions. Um, if you need any help at all, please let me know. Thanks and have a great day. Bye, guys.